this video, we are going to talk about the income statement. Before we get into the topic, let's understand first what is a financial statement. A financial statement is a document that helps show the financial state of your company. The actual items that meet this financial statement's definition are generally much more specific and each has an important role to play. Each type of financial statement will often have a knock on effect on another type. As such, you cannot gain a full overview of a company with just one type of statement. You must consolidate the data from one statement with the data from another statement to gain a deeper understanding of your company's financial health. There is a four types of financial statements that every business needs. Balance sheet, income statement, cash flow statement, and statement of owner's equity. Balance sheet, also known as a statement of financial position or a statement of net worth. The balance sheet is one of the four important financial statements every business needs. Based on the basic accounting equation or balance sheet equation, which is assets equals liabilities plus equity, the balance sheet provides a snapshot of a business's assets, liabilities, and equity. It also provides users with a look at the business's financial position at a specific point in time, and financial statement analysts use the information it contains to calculate several important financial ratios. Income Statement The income statement is another important financial statement for your small business. It provides users with a picture of the business's financial performance over a specific period of time. Also known as a statement of revenue and expense or a profit and loss statement, the income statement is a statement of earnings that shows a business's operating and non-operating revenue and expense. Like the balance sheet, the information contained in an income statement is used in financial statement analysis to calculate financial ratios that provide users with further insight into a business's financial performance. Cash Flow Statement Also known as a statement of cash flows or a statement of changes in financial position, is an important financial statement that gives user an understanding of how well a business is managing its cash flow. Using the information in a cash flow statement, users are able to see whether a business is generating sufficient cash to meet both its debt obligations and its operating expenses. The typical cash flow statement format provides information about a business's cash from operating activities, cash from investing activities, and cash from financing activities. Statement of Owner's Equity The fourth financial statement that a business needs is a statement of owner's equity also known as a statement of changes in equity or a statement of shareholders' equity. It shows the business's retained earnings, the profit kept or retained within a business rather than distributed to owners or shareholders, both at the beginning and at the end of a specific reporting period. Retained earnings are often used to either reinvest in the company or to pay off the business's debt or the obligations. It provides users with information regarding the financial health of a business as it shows whether the business is capable of meeting ongoing financial and operating obligations without requiring its owners to contribute more capital. Let's get into our topic which is income statement. An income statement is a financial statement where it shows the company's revenues, expenses, and profitability over a period of time. If revenues are higher than expenses, the business is profitable. On the other hand, if the expenses is greater than revenue, the business is not profitable. It is also called as profit and loss statement, statement of earnings, statement of comprehensive income, and statement of financial performance. Income statement is one of the three most important financial statements in financial accounting, along with balance sheet and statement of cash flows. Balance sheet is a financial statement that reports a company's assets, liabilities, and shareholder equity at a specific point in time. Statement of cash flows shows the source of cash and helps you monitor incoming and outgoing money. It is essential to understand that the income statement gives the overall financial picture of a company during a period of time as opposed to the balance sheet, which provides an overview of the business finances on a specific date. An income statement provides helpful insights into the financial well-being of a company. It allows
allows business owners to come up with the better strategies as well as to evaluate their past decisions. An income statement is also crucial for investors who are looking to put money into a business. The reason for this is that it shows a company's potential. For instance, if a company has experienced a loss instead of a profit during a given period, then investors may reconsider whether to invest it in it or not. Let's move on to the elements of income statement. First, do not forget the heading. First, the company's name followed by income statement and the period of ended. The, the elements of income statement is revenues less expenses equals net income. Revenue. Revenue is the total sales of a business within a reporting period. It is a quantification of the gross activity generated by a business which is the average unit price charged to customers multiplied by the number of units sold. Revenue is generally created when either goods or services are sold. It is typically a key indicator of a company's financial health. Evaluating your company's revenue can help you determine how well the business is performing compared to previous years. Revenue can also assist your companies in recognizing which products or services customers prefer. This can improve the company's product development process which may further increase the revenue it earns. A company's revenue may include sales of goods or services, interest, dividends, rental income. An expense in accounting refers to the money spent and the cost incurred by a company in pursuing revenue. Simply put, accounting expenses are the cost involved in running a business and collectively they contribute to the activities involved in generating profit. While they might seem identical in general lexicon, there is an important difference between a cost and a expense when it comes to accounting. Cost refers to the finances put forward in order to purchase an asset. The use and consumption of these assets are expenses. So, while an example of a cost might be purchase of a bond by a company, the payment for petrol and servicing are expenses. It follows, therefore, that all expenses can be categorized as cost, but not all costs are necessarily expenses. All expenses will be recorded and noted in businesses' income statement. The total revenue minus expenses determines the net profit of a company. Profit is the remaining revenue, also known as income, left after a company has accounted for all expenses. In small businesses, the profit usually goes directly to the company's owner or owners. Publicly owned and traded corporations pay out certain amount of profit to stockholders in dividends. A business owner can keep the money or invest it into the company to encourage growth and more profit. Income statements list three primary types of profit. Each type of profit gives company leadership and other stakeholders valuable insight into the health of the company. Here are the three main types of profit. Gross profit, operating profit, and net profit. Gross profit is usually the first type of profit listed on an income statement and often the highest value. Gross profit is the company's revenue minus the cost of goods sold or costs. The gross profit helps companies see how much money they've made after accounting for the direct costs associated with the creating their product or service. Here's a formula to calculate gross profit. Gross profit equals sales revenue minus cost of goods sold. Here's 
a formula you can use to calculate net profit. Net profit equals operating profit minus tax and interest cost. Account titles. These are the summary of revenues and expenses. Account titles that is used in Smith & Gel Inc. and B. Aquino Law Firm Transactions. Revenue. Revenue contains service revenue and professional fees. Expenses. Expenses contain salaries expense, utilities expense, rent expense, insurance expense, advertising expense, telephone expense. So, I prepared a steps on preparing an income statement. Step 1. Prepare the adjusted child balance. Step 2. Determine the revenues and expenses. Step 3. List the revenues and expenses. Step 4. Write the form. Step 5. Calculate total revenue. Step 6. Calculate total expenses. Step 7. Calculate total profit. So here is an example of adjusted child balance of Smith & Child Incorporation. You have to identify first the revenues and expenses that is on adjusted child balance. After identifying, calculate the total revenues and expenses and the net income. Now that you know how to prepare an income statement, here's an activity for you to try. Here is the adjusted child balance of the Aquino law firm. It's your turn to make it into an income statement. Don't forget to comment down below.